so perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Charlton have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. So it's down to business here. Tries to get it forward quickly. not the cross he had in mind hoists it forward can't get the better of his opposite number did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And it's played forward. Tries to dink it in. And that has been clubbed away. it forward tries one and they did so well to set it up they used the wing two to great effect in working their way through the middle and a little more look though and they may have been celebrating Save. Oh, that's a stunning save. I mean, his reflexes were incredible then. That's as good a save as you'll see. to react to the initial save and he has his reward oh that's great awareness full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up Charlton draw first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Drives it towards the front. Hardly anything between the sides. 
And the score is 1-0. of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game after that. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go into the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Charlton, they're in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Forward it goes. Good idea, just poorly executed. Plays it over to the other flank. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. And the ball's come out. And they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. And he's going long. Just brushed off the ball there. He's looked long this time, he's got options out wide, cuts it out. Keep calm and carry on, that's the job in a nutshell now. Almost there and the players can feel it. by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? 